let us say something about characteristic function. We have learned from Shagnik something about moment generating function. Now, the characteristic function is somewhat similar or in line with moment generating function. It is defined as phi x t. I hope you can follow the board is equal to expectation of e to the power i x t as simple as this. This is the formula for <coughs> characteristic function. Capital X is the associated random variable and t is a parametric quantity with which we define this characteristic function. This t will provide us some information about the probability distribution this random variable capital X possesses. I hope I can make you understand the utility of this characteristic function and how it is related with statistics, mathematical statistics which I intend to teach you. Now listen, <coughs> moment generating function which we have learned from Shagnik can be represented as phi x, what is m x t, moment generating function? I will not write it here, I will just say that phi x of minus i t will be m x t. Why? Because if we place minus i t in place of t here, it will become e to the power x t square sorry x t uh, i square x t we are putting minus i t in place of t. So, this is become minus i square x t. So, that is x t to the power x t expectation of it to the, that is precisely moment generating function is not it so. So, this phi x t is nothing but a function which will help us to unravel the qualities or the features of the distribution function this random variable poses. Okay. We say we say that phi x t completely determines completely determines the features of the probability distribution, the random variable R v x possesses. Okay. This completely determines <coughs> okay. So, this is phi x t which is expectation of e to the power i x t. Now, a question arises, what is the utility of this i? Why we introduce the imaginary number i? i is the imaginary number, as you can easily follow that we have replaced minus i square by plus 1. So, what is the utility? Actually, <coughs> this phi x t or expectation of e to the power i x t is represented by a Fourier transformation by definition. Why? Because just see that what is expectation of e to the power i x t. By definition expectation of e to the power i x t may be written as minus infinity to infinity e to the power i x t d of f x x. Now, what is this f x x, this is the 
cumulative distribution function. So, this will be equal to f x where this is the density function, probability density function. This we will learn in probability, these are the basics of probability distribution function where we assume that the cumulative distribution function f x when d d x of f x is equal to small f x where small f x is the density function. This is a very <coughs> basic uh, rule of uh, probability which we will learn. So, using this we can write that this becomes this and you can easily follow that this is nothing but the Fourier transform of f x is not it so probability density function, probability density function and characteristic function are Fourier transform of each other. I hope you have learned something about Fourier transformation. If you do not know, you will learn and this will uh, give you the illumination why this phi x t is so important. You can learn about the properties of probability density function if you know phi x t and if you know the probability density function, you can easily evaluate phi x t vice versa. Now, let us see some of the properties of characteristic function. 